whether or not you choose to believe the content of what this video shows you, I guarantee you it will begin to get you thinking about life and your soul path, your desires in a different way. This video is all about how to start living by your actual soul's desires. Let's get right into it. The first question I want to ask you guys is why would you want to live by your soul's desires and what does that really mean? There are two major ways that all of us live in society here now and today. One is a construction. One is based off what society wants us to think is the right way to live. And the other one lies deep inside internally inside of the body one is based on external success and external validation the other one is based on internal validation and internal deep fulfillment the reason you're watching this video is you might be on the precipice between continuing to live uh, in someone else's world or for someone else's validation or for someone else's happiness or success and choosing to go the opposite way and to start to live for yourself, to start to live for your own soul's purpose and your own soul's desires. The purpose of this video here is pretty much like a guide, a 101, so to speak, of how to make that transition and how to begin living in alignment with your soul's desires. The benefits of that being you can live a longer, happier, and more fulfilled life inside. You can create more abundance, both in terms of money and in terms of your community, in terms of your family, in terms of the love that you receive. And overall, you can complete your mission as to why you came here on earth. All of those are included when you take the internal fulfillment path, the internally desired path. And what's fulfilled on the external path is quite the opposite. It's a continuous validation of feeling unworthy. It's a continuous path or track based on someone else's plan or desires for you. And it's a continuous track that will only lead you back to within. Whenever you do choose to make that switch, just know it's in perfect timing, it's in perfect alignment, but it will happen. It is inevitable that it will happen. All of us have a choice from our free will as to when that happens. Let me start to talk about tangible, practical ways you can start to do this. Some of you guys might be saying, all right, Brandon, well, I'm watching this video hopefully to change my perspective, but I don't really plan on taking action because to live on just my soul's desires might mean that we run out of money or it means that I can't support myself, or I can't support my family, or it's just not realistic, it's too practical, and I have to pay the bills. How assured are you that the thing you're doing outside of what is naturally fulfilling you, the thing that is fulfilling someone else's dreams or desires, the things that is taking you away from your authentic purpose and way of being, how assured and what assurement do you have that that thing will last forever? What insurance do you have that the thing that is paying your bills is going to continue to pay your bills for the rest of your life. Is there anything set in stone that God gave you on a slab of stone parchment right in front of you that said this way of being, this job, this security, this way of guaranteed providership will last you for an entire lifetime? If the answer for that is no, you're on to something. Because there is one thing and one thing only that will last you an entire lifetime. And here it is. That one thing that will last you an entire lifetime that is guaranteed for the rest of your life and is guaranteed to allow you success, to allow you to be safe, and to allow you to fulfill your purpose is your internal relationship with yourself. And if there are things you are doing outside of you that are going against or creating disharmony between you and the relationship with yourself, then you are only creating further separation and you are only creating further discontentment with your internal desires, your internal self, and who you're choosing to become, who you're choosing to act out of. Now, there's a very simple switch for this, and here it is right now, but it's gonna require, I'm warning you, a lot of faith and a lot of courage to follow through with. And that thing is asking your body every single day what it is you guys want to do. I know that is a very simple question. I know that it's very simplistic. I want to tell you guys a quick little story about what's happening over here. Me and my girlfriend are actually running this experiment. It's not like an official experiment, but it's been happening this last couple of weeks, I would say, 
we had all of these obligations, right? We both work from home and we had like tasks we needed to do and chores and work. And, you know, we had this regimen that we set up and, you know, discipline's great. I have nothing against that. But sometimes our bodies just wanted to do something else. Like sometimes they'd spontaneously just want to maybe go out and have fun for the day. Or we just want to play some video games for the day. Or we'd want to watch TV. Or we just want to, you know, eat some good food and chill out. And the question we asked ourselves was, can we just actually listen to our bodies when our bodies are guiding us to do on a daily basis and have that work out? Like, is that a possibility? And, and keep in mind, you know, it's not like we have a ton of money over here. It's not like we have, you know, millions and millions of dollars. No, quite, quite the opposite. We are uh, depending on services and our businesses and faith in God and in the divine to provide for us on a daily basis as we continue to do his work and our work. So we asked ourselves this question a couple weeks go by and what happened was a very transformative process. What happened was the more that we started to listen to our body's internal and daily desires, the more money started to flow in. Okay. Just randomly from things that we were naturally promoting by being ourselves, right? We're both on TikTok, We're both uh, content creators, but instead of posting about the things we thought we needed to post about, we started posting about things that were just naturally things we wanted to talk about and what happened is we started to naturally attract more opportunities in just like that within these last couple of weeks that would bring money in outside of the way we thought we needed to do it and we're still in the in the experimental phase but what i can tell you guys 100 percent is the desire in the body will lead you to the way in which you will make the most money the way in which you will find your soul tribe and your community and the way in which you will find your mission the truth is sometimes living by your desires isn't always easy. It's not always fun either. Sometimes you'll have to make very hard decisions. For instance, if you are in a relationship or you are in a relationship with a family member or you are, um, you know, having friends or you are, you know, there's people or things that need to change in your life that you haven't addressed yet. And your body keeps telling you, hey, I don't really want to hang around with that person right now. Or I need to not be doing that old thing that I used to do so I can go do this new thing. Or I need to start eating this particular way instead of the old way that's comfortable to me. Your body will always tell you whether it's fun or whether it's something that's medicinal, what to do that will lead you to your next purpose. Simple way on how to do that. All you have to do is be willing to ask. That process looks like this. When you wake up in the day, you put one hand onto your stomach and you ask your body, okay, body, what are my authentic desires? What are my authentic desires to do here and now? You can close your eyes. You can put your hand on your belly. What are my authentic desires to do? Okay. If you want to express something, solar plexus, what are my authentic desires to express today? What are my authentic desires to create safety within my body, mind, and heart today? And whatever it is you start to express, whatever it is you start to do inside of your body, will start to naturally attract itself to you from the outside in. As you change those feelings in your body, in different parts of your body, body, what is it I desire to do that will create more love for myself in the heart chakra here? Body, what is it I desire to see that will enlighten me today? Third eye chakra. Do you guys see how this works? So living by your desires is literally a formula for unlocking your secret cheat code for life. And it breaks you out of the need to follow some other paradigm or to live or work in a way that gives you some false guarantee that will in the end create more unworthiness, more unhappiness, and probably more scarcity. Because I'll be honest with you guys, most people who work jobs anyways, or work a nine to five, let's just be honest about it, are still living in some degree of scarcity anyways. And why what is what why is that what, like what is the solution to that working at a job in its own right is the promoter of scarcity mindset okay working at a job especially one that you don't enjoy i'm not talking about jobs that you genuinely enjoy or you're passionate about or you're with a really good company that really takes care of you and it's like a family i'm not talking about that i'm talking about jobs you really don't want to be at but you continue to go after every single day those nine to five jobs those grind whether you're an accountant whether you're a clerk or whether you're uh some 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 type of administrative job that's really no one wants to do 
working that job and trading your time for money is essentially on a daily basis reminding your soul, reminding yourself that you are not good enough, you are not worthy enough to receive money from being your authentic self. Let me repeat that. Working at a nine to five or working in a way that diminishes your own value because you're essentially trading t your time for money as opposed to using your gifts, using who you are, using your own sense of expression to generate income, which is entirely possible, especially now in 2022, is a continuous reminder to your soul, to your subconscious mind that you are not good enough. You are not worthy enough to receive money from being yourself. And this is a difficult realization to, to swallow. I, I realize that I, I, I'm not immune to nine to five jobs. I've worked nine to five jobs my entire life. It was only two years ago that I finally quit. I know I was laid off of my job for COVID and had to go full time into YouTube, had to go full time into TikTok to create a living. What I realized is just being in a job in itself is like being in a matrix because your soul is reminded every single day that even though you could potentially create something that could generate money, it's very simple these days that you choose not to, but you choose not to simply because there's a deep unconscious belief that's told you that the safest way and or the only way to provide for yourself and or the people you love the most is by getting a job, is by saving up for 40 years, is by going through the matrix and receiving that paycheck at the end of the week or end of the month. So once you allow yourself the freedom to break out of that paradigm, okay, which requires having faith, which requires having faith in something higher than yourself, by the way. Part of the reason many people are trapped is because they don't have faith outside of themselves or outside of the system that's created by humans that something else will be there to provide for them or whisper in their ear or in their gut or in their belly what to do next. But here's the thing, your belly, your gut, your soul, God, whatever you want to t tell it, something divine is whispering to you every single day what you truly want to be doing. It's just you might not have the faith just yet to believe that that thing is in your best interest and to believe that listening to that little whisper in your belly will lead you to the greatest possible life you can be in, in terms of money, in terms of relationship, in terms of faith, in terms of fulfillment, in terms of soul purpose, and in terms of soul tribe. We all have two parts of ourselves, the internal truth part and quote unquote, the false part, the shadow part, the ego part, the part that wants to attain Okay, something it believes or something it's tricked us into believing as a society that's worthwhile, which is either lots and lots of money or the guarantee of safety and security or validation or moving up the ranks in a certain system or recognition. All of these things that have essentially kept us on a hamster wheel with a carrot in front of us our entire lives that ultimately always lead to a feeling of lack inside because they were based on lack they will always continue to perpetuate that sense of lack. While the other one is based on following your true internal self, your true internal path, and your true internal desires. Here's the question to ask by the end of this video. Am I living in alignment with my true authentic soul desires in this moment? Do I trust that my true authentic soul desires will lead me to more money, will lead me to better relationships, will lead me to true love, will lead me to everything my heart desires? Or am I still stuck because I believe I'm unworthy, because I believe it's not possible, because I believe that it's it's only for certain people to attain, because I believe, what is it you believe that keeps you stuck in a system outside of your own desires? Okay, ask yourself that question and see if you are ready and willing to make that shift. If you are, here's what you'll begin to experience. You're gonna experience more authentic energy in your system, more bodily energy, okay? More life energy. Okay, you're going to experience a better spark in your eyes. People are going to look at you and say, what is different with you? You look better. You look slimmer. You look like you have more life force. You look like you, like you have more attention to detail. You have all of these things. What is going on? Did you do something with your hair? Okay. Number two, you might get healthier. Okay. Physically, mentally, and emotionally. You might literally start to lose weight. You might start to, again, have more energy. You might start to be able to exercise more. Um, you're going to start to replenish your your cup because you're actually fulfilling your soul's desires. Okay, not your ego desires, but your soul's desires, what you really want deep inside. 
And number three, you're going to start to attract in people that are meant for you, whether it's a love partnership, a friendships, okay, whether it's community, whether it's just business partnerships, whether it's just opportunities for you to shine or for you to express genuinely your gift or to just help people on this planet and to spread the word that you want to spread. You're going to start to do that. And you know what? You're going to start to trust more that doing those particular things is going to attract in all the opportunities you've ever wanted and will finally set you free. And, and let me just say one last thing, friend. If you're watching this video, there is a strong reason that you're watching this video. It didn't just pop onto your feed and you didn't just decide to click it and uh, most importantly decide to watch it all the way to this point unless you were ready to hear these words, unless you really were contemplating a different way of living life. If you've been inspired by people on TikTok or maybe even this video itself or, or people's lifestyles, how to live in a different way, you are ready for the transition. Let this be a message to you from God to you, to the divine, to you, whatever you believe in. This is your time to start to switch and to ask your soul on a daily basis, what do I desire to do today? And start to follow and trust that little voice inside I want you to hear it from your body, by the way. You got to ask your body. Don't listen to your mind. Listen to your body. Body, what do I desire to do? What do I desire to be? What do I desire to eat today? What do I desire to drink? And start to follow those desires no matter where they take you. And I know that sounds crazy, but I'm living proof that if you do that, and I've been doing that since two years ago, I promise you the divine will carry you through. It will help you to find the true love of your life. It will help you to find more money than you know what to do with. It will help you to find relationships that empower you and it will help you to feel more fulfilled and to step truly into your soul purpose and help to serve the world. And trust me, my friends, that is more worthwhile than any perceived risk or fear that you might have from leaving the old way of being, the old way of working behind that has created this continuous perpetual sense of unworthiness, unhappiness, and lack mentality. Anyways, I hope this video helped to inspire some people or just help to change the perspective. That's the only goal. Whether or not you believe it's possible, uh, my recommendation is just to start to ask that on a daily basis, especially if you are stuck working in a system or being in a certain way of being that you don't want to be in. Ask your body on a daily basis, what do I desire to do today? What do I really desire to be and do today? And instead of ignoring it, trust it, follow its instructions, change the circumstances in which you are in and just have faith. And I promise you this video is proof. I'm proof, we're proof. Me and my girlfriend Paula, we've been doing it now, are proof that everything will be okay and you will start to be happier, healthier, more successful and more in love. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Brandon Tobias. If you guys want a one-on-one -on -one live mentorship session where I take you through practical techniques on how to tap into your body's desires and how to let go of subconscious beliefs. I practice something called theta healing and somatic experiencing, meaning I help people to release subconscious beliefs inside of their body and change their, the way they look at life, change the way that they can act and, and use their energy in life by releasing those beliefs. It's profoundly changed my own life. Um, live one-on-one -on -one sessions are in the description box below. I also offer pre-recorded tarot and astrology soul purpose readings if that's interesting to you. Um, and other than that, check out the videos on here and here that might be helpful on your soul's journey as well. Thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more content just like this and join the soul family. Hit that like button, hit that bell button if you want to be notified for all videos just like this. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.